God good. Amen. 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 I sometimes say, I know exactly what the songwriter was saying, so many blessings on deserving, but on the other side of me is you don't get blessed accidentally. <coughs> you have to live. I know what songwriter I'm not being picky on that. But uh, he blesses his word. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Living His Word, He'll bless. He doesn't bless outside His Word. He blesses His Word. He doesn't bless sin. People That's may right. get by with sin, but He doesn't bless sin. If God okay sin, God will be sinful. Very good. Yes. Bless you, bless you. If He lightened up on sin, He would be sinful. Yes, sir. There is no darkness in God. Amen. 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 Any shadow in your life is because of your sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you're putting something between you and God. It may be a small object that doesn't produce a lot of shadow. But the bigger it gets, the bigger shadow. Pretty soon, it's Amen. all shadow. That's right. Amen. Enjoy. I always love I would say Eric and all of them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Straight and error. <laughs> that is right in it. Yes, sir. I'm told one time, I'm glad they're not called crooked and broad. <laughs> <laughs> like your leader, he's got cowboy boots, so we're already in tune. <laughs> Look at Ruth in the second chapter. What the Lord gave me today. Uh, just had one message at a time, so Saturday night or Sunday morning, I just get one at a time, and that's fine. But I fully trust the Lord that He knows what we have need of before we come. Amen. Amen. I fully trust the Lord that He knows everybody that's going to be here before we came. Yes, sir. I fully trust the Lord that He knows any phone calls you got today or and you sorrow, or he knows where you're at in your life at the moment. I say all the time that every one of us can find our life in this Bible every day. Amen. It's given for our example. You never have to be a brand new example of anything. Yeah. Never let Satan tell you, mine, nobody else has went through this. Yeah. The Bible yeah. gave yeah. all the examples that will ever be needed, which makes that a miracle book within itself. Yep. There'll never be a generation, no matter how uh, advanced we get, and at least how advanced we think we are, never be a generation that God doesn't already have it covered. Yes, sir. There'll never be anything invented, any sins invented, anything we face, any obstacles that God doesn't already have it covered. If yes. God can put oil in the earth, Thousands of years before we even have a need and know what to do with oil, He can cover our life today Amen. and tomorrow. Amen. Amen. God's Amen. already in our tomorrow. He's out in the Omega. He's not will be Omega. He is yes. already there. Yes, sir. Amen. Look at Ruth in the second chapter, beginning at verse 1. Ruth in the second chapter, beginning at verse 1. Now Naomi had a kinsman of her husband's, a mighty man of wealth, a family of Amalek, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth of Moabiah said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field, and glean ears of corn after him, in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went, and came, and gleaned in the field after the reapers. And her half was to light on a part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was the kindred of Amalek. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the little reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto his servants that were said over the reaper, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was said over the reaper answered and said, It is the Moabitess damsel that came from Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and had continued even from morning until now that she tarried a little while in the house. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, Hearest thou not, my daughter? Go not to glean in another field. 
Neither go from hence, but abide here fast by thy maidens. Let them, I, I know what's going to happen so I can get blessed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I know what's going to happen. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I know what's going to happen by him. Yeah, amen. <laughs> amen. I know what amen. I said, I'll right. give you the expected yeah. yes. Glory. Yes. Glory. Yes. I'll get to the blessing part, but I already know what it says. Yes. 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 Let their eyes be on the field that they do reap, and go there after them. Have I not charged the young men that they shall not touch thee? And when thou art athirst, go into the vessel. And drink of that which the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground and said unto him, Why have I found grace? Yeah, amen. Amen. Good, right Praise the Lord. In thy eyes. Yeah. That thou should take knowledge of me. Yes. Seeing I am a stranger. Yeah. And Boaz answered, Boaz answered and said unto her, It has Fully be shoot me all that thou hast done to thy mother-in-law since the death of thy husband, and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother, and the land of thy nativity are come unto a people that thou knewest not hereto. The Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. Then she said, Let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord, for thou has come comfort to me, for thou hast spoken friendly unto thy handmaiden, though I be not like unto one of thy handmaidens. You may be seated, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your great grace. Lord, we thank you for saving our soul and making us whole. We thank you, Lord, for being so good to us. Oh, for the beautiful singing of Zion tonight. It touched your heart and thrilled your soul. God, we thank you. Lord, for the privilege of prayer and handshakes and greetings and hugs and smiles. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for all these things. Now, Lord, we come to this part of the service. We ask God that you anoint physically that we may preach the word of God in the strength of the flesh. But above all, God, asking you anoint spiritually. I may preach thy word in the power of the Spirit. Tying together the loose ends and filling the void we leave because of our inability. Let thy word go out freely. Give according to every need here tonight. God, you give the message. And we feel uh, it's going to be for a help, uh, uh, for a blessing, uh, or for a weariness, uh, uh, for an uplifting. Uh, the songs, uh, uh, God had the same theme. Uh, oh, Lord God, we know and we thank you. Uh, oh, God, that you know every need before we ever come. So we thank you uh, uh, for the songs that were sung. Uh, and God, we now uh, asking God for your anointing. In thy name we ask you, Jesus. Uh, Amen and amen. From this out of verse 12. Now that, that verse is a blessing. He said, the Lord recompense thy work. Amen. The Lord recompense thy work and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel under whose wings thou art come to trust. Now if you mark in your Bible, amen, that's up to you. I, I, I'm going to suggest you put a highlight beside that thing. I'm going to put a star beside that one. Amen. Amen. I like what old Major Jackson said many years ago. He went to visit a hospital a grave angel. And an older lady was there. Always shouting and praising God. She was in the hospital. Amen. And very old and very sick. And he had her Bible by the bedside. He picked it up. And he began this kind of leaf through the Bible. Every once in a while, he is seen beside the verse of the letters T P capital T a type capital P oh and he looked at another be another verse a T P he said Amy what does T P mean she said oh brother Mays those are the verses I've tried and proven amen so this is the verse verse twelve is the verse that I've tried and I've proven amen God will always recompense thee. I want to preach just in a few minutes. I want a full reward. I want a full reward. The title of the message. I will venture to say that some, if not most here tonight, amen, has at one time or another 
maybe even at this present time, had thoughts of weariness. Thoughts of weariness. In our labors for the Lord. Now we get weary in our work in everyday life. We get weary with the things that, that come our way in family or whatever. Right? We get weary about bills. We get weary about everything. Right? But I, I, I think sometimes we fail to admit uh, that we're weary uh, in everyday life of service to the Lord. Uh, amen. Uh, it's a possibility. Uh, that's why he said, be not weary in well-doing. Uh, if there wasn't a possibility, uh, uh, then, uh, yeah. amen, uh, then he would have never put the in amen. there. Uh, he yes, said, now, uh, the number one way uh, and to not to become weary uh, is know what God has in store. Uh, know that they expect to end. Uh, I know there's going to be a full reward uh, uh, someday. Uh, amen. Uh, but just as a lost person has to, one, uh, realize their loss. Uh, and number two, uh, uh, seek the Lord. Uh, we that are saved, uh, and if you become weary uh, in your labor for the Lord, uh, you have to realize I'm weary. It's hard to say because you almost think you're saying, I'm not trusting. You almost think you're saying, I like faith. You almost think you're saying, maybe, maybe I'm sinning even because of my weariness. Maybe I'm failing because of my weariness. And all these things that go with that. Amen. But there's a possibility. I remember many years ago. Amen. Now we'll go through things. We'll go in the message. But this came to me now. I remember back in the early 80s. Being laid off. And there's no way mathematical that I could pay the bills. But guess what? Well, Lord. I'm a mathematician. Amen. I can figure out real fast, and especially after the subtraction. I, I know what minus numbers are. Amen. I, I know when it goes below zero. I, I know I, that it's an impossibility I, I, to me. But every month, every month, God met the needs. Amen. I praise the Lord. Many times I go on my porch and say, Lord, if this or this happens, then I might pay this or this. Other times I go out and say, Lord, Sometimes the more you love, the less you are loved. That's life. 
That's life. We're not new at this. Amen. We are not new at this in our generation. We can find that. And that happens. Amen. Think of Jesus. If you don't want to think of yourself, you think, well, that may not be true. Then let's go back. Let's think of Jesus. Amen. Let's think of Him. Jesus loved like no other ever loved. Amen. But yet he was hated yeah. by the religious leaders of the day. But no one ever loved like Jesus. Amen. But also no one was ever hated like Jesus. Amen. No one's ever went out around in perfection. Amen. Without sin. Without sin. Born without sin. Didn't commit sin. Amen. And only not commit sin. Oh, but he also opened the eyes of the blind. He opened the ears of the dead. He cleansed the lepers. He raised the dead. Hey, he did all things well, as the Bible says. And yet no one was ever loved like Jesus loved. And no one was ever hated like Jesus was hated by the religious leaders. No one has ever hated for doing so much for so many. Let me read you about the Apostle Paul now. Heard about Christ. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. We're going to read this. And we're going to read it. I want you to think about it. I want you to kind of group these together. We usually just read this we go right over them. We kind of read it and we go right over them. But he says this. Chapter 12, beginning at verse 24. Of the Jews five times received thy forty stripes, save one. Now, I want, first of all, we go through a group of punishment. We go through a group of punishment. Forty stripes, save one. Five different times. Thrice I was beaten with rods. 2 Corinthians 11 and 25. Once I was stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. Yeah. A night and day I'll be in the deep. So that's his punishments. <clears throat> then he goes on everyday trials plus punishments from his own. In journeys often in perils of water, everyday life. In perils of robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, my own people, in perils of the heathen, in perils of the city, in perils of the women, in perils of the sea, in perils among false brothers. I want you to look at the next statement. Amen. He goes from punishment, he goes through perils, he goes through everyday life, and then he said, in weariness. We read right through these because it's, it's a big list. Uh, it kind of flows uh, and we go right through it. We don't really take a whole lot of it. We know Paul was a great man. Uh, we know Paul stood for Jesus. Uh, we knew Paul did all these things. Uh, amen. And we go right through that. Paul uh, has said in weariness. Yes, that's right. Amen. In painfulness. Watching often. In hunger. In thirst. In fasting. Often in cold and nakedness. Now look at verse 28. Besides those things that are without, that which come upon me daily, the care of the churches. That means that was hard also. Yes, sir. It's in a list of hard things. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Single list of hard things. The care of their churches. Amen. Oh, but I love it. Paul never stops any time. He never stops about anything. And leaves it. Where that he leaves us when he talks about all his problems. Every single time. Amen. He'll go to the blessings. He might think of trouble, but then he'll go to the blessings. Hey, Paul will always put joy almost behind everything that he says. But he goes here in chapter 12. I know the man who caught up. Amen. The third heaven about 14 yeah. years ago. Oh, he saw things. I know the awful other. He goes on to say, Oh, and else I be exalted above major. There was a thorn in the flesh. You wouldn't think Paul would be exalted above major. All the beatings, all the perils. Oh, I mean, he said that was giving me a thorn in the flesh. I besought the Lord thrice that it may be removed. But the Lord said, My God. Grace is sufficient. Paul goes on to say, I'll take all these troubles. I'll take all these cares. I'll take everything here. If I can 
just get in touch with God. If I can just receive the blessings and the helps of God, well, God had gave me a full reward. Amen. Let me see things. Oh, I remember Paul is one that, that left this earth. I caught up in the third heaven. I saw things not long ever. Paul saw we're what we're going to see. Amen. Paul already saw what we're going to see. I say, I like to they say a while ago when we were saying Lady Grace. Randy Scott reminded me of Brother Hebrew Woods, we all preached that birth many times. And Hebrew say, Well, I used to say ten thousand years. Oh man, we're going to be there a ten million years. And I told Randy, I said, You know what else fits in that? We'll be there forevermore. Fits in that also. Amen. Forevermore, amazing grace, amazing song. Amen. It's the only song I like that you repeat the same thing over and over and I like it. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I don't like any other 7 Eleven music. You take seven words and repeat 11 times. But I like repeating praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And it's right in there. I think God has that idea in mind. It was probably just about 30 years ago that somebody realized that you could put praise God, praise God, praise God. Oh, and now we realize that you can put in there. I'll be there forevermore and still fix in there. Amen. Amen. Ain't God something? Yes. Yes. Amen. I fully respect the full reward. And so we see Paul. Amen. What led Ruth to this? What led Ruth? Well, you have to read chapter 1. It wasn't by accident. Her husband had died. Amen. Her sister, the law, her husband had died. Oh, and they went back. And no one said, go back. Oh, my. I went out for them. I came back empty. There's a problem in there. There's a weariness in there. I understand what you're saying. I, I'm not going to jump on and say, oh, you should have never said that. that that's the problem sometimes. We don't admit that we can get weary. Yes, we don't admit that we Amen. can get discouraged. Hey, we need to admit it so we know how to get rid of it. Yeah. Hey. Amen. That way we won't be ashamed. It's like we're ashamed to stand and say, hey, you don't help me. I'm just a little weary. And if something people, I, I say, oh my goodness. Yeah. It's like they're a sinner. Paul said in weariness. You want to call him a sinner? <laughs> but Paul, I'm going to say that. I didn't finish that while I go. At, at 70 sometime, I don't remember where I was. <laughs> remember how I got there. I used to be able to preach this, go off on any path, and shoo, they'd come right back. <laughs> I love old people. I do too. <laughs> Having a time in my life. Every day is a brand new day. <laughs> but Paul went up before I do forget. Paul went up. Hey, you know what Paul said? He came back. But he, Paul said about going up. He said, Oh, I have a great desire. I did depart and be with Christ is far better. Oh, how did he know it was far better? He had already been there. He said, hey, I'm going to be absent down here. It's going to be present there. Yes, hey, I don't care where you put me up to heaven. It's not going to change God's idea. It's not going to change His word. But I know one thing about heaven. I'm going to be happy forever. Amen. 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 I love it when Christians argue about heaven. I tell you this all the time. Y'all don't know a bit more about it than I do, so quit arguing about it. That's right. That's true. I read everything you read about heaven. Hey Amen. I don't care what movie you said, a movie you seen don't mean a thing. A book you read don't mean a thing. The only thing that needs about heaven is this book right here. And you told me enough where I can understand it. Hey, the only thing I can't understand about heaven, nothing else I would be able to grasp. But I can grasp is there'll be no sorrow there. There'll be no pain there. There'll be no death there. There'll be no tears there. I'm not leaving you. Where you go, I will go. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Say, Ruth, and truly entreat me not to leave thee nor return from following after thee. For where thou goest, I will go. Where thou lodgest, I will lodge. 
Thy people shall be my people. This is a person that was not of the Jews. This is a person that was a heathen nation. This is a person that said, Thy God is my God. Where thou diest, I will I die. When where thou be buried, the Lord do so the more also. If not but death part me and thee, amen. Oh, there was a reason a God brought her here because of what you had done. And because of what you had done, it just so I, I love verse 3 uh, and her half. Yeah. It just happened. I didn't look it up a Proverbs scripture. The Proverbs scripture says that the lot it costs him to laugh, but the whole disposing of all is of the Lord. Amen. It may be, I may have certain things but the, given or whatever happened, but the whole disposing of all is the Lord. Amen. He guided her right there to that field. He knew what field he wanted her in. Amen. Amen. And he filled the Boaz. Amen. And then he said to Boaz, Oh, that don't bless your blesser. When he said, Lord, will recompense thy work, a full reward be given thee. Well, that don't bless you. Go over a few more verses. In verse 15, he said, When she was driven up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves and reproach her not. Oh, now this is good here. Hey. And let some, all right in the let Paul also some of the handfuls of purpose for her and leave it as she may. Hey, hey. I don't ever once in a while just throw down a handful. Yes. Hey, I don't always have to glean just a little thing. Yes. I once in a while yeah. he'll throw down a whole handful. Hey. 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 Be giving you. Hey. Hey. Be not weary. Hey. We hey. got a hey. problem solver. Amen. Yes. You can't tell me preachers never get weary every Monday. They just, <laughs> by Monday morning, they want to resign. <laughs> A lot of Monday mornings. Amen. I'll say this, you'll get real quiet. Bless you. you don't want you all to get overly excited. <laughs> we got a whole week. You don't want you to wear out. <laughs> Pastors should be the easiest job Right. See how quiet it goes? Uh -huh. <laughs> After all, you're dealing with all Christians. <laughs> <laughs> See how you all don't believe a word of that? <laughs> Let's go back to the Apostle Paul. And besides all of this, besides the beatings, besides the imprisonments, besides the shipwrecks, besides the, the, the stoning, besides the hunger, besides the thirst, amen, he left one important thing all the way up to the end. He said, the care of the churches. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he put that in after the beatings, after the shipwrecks, after all of these things. He said, on top of all that. <laughs> Amen. Jesus. Amen. You pastors enjoy yourself tonight. Amen. Yes, sir. A full reward. Amen. So I love that. Oh, I love the fact that they let some fall by a handful. Yes. Now I'm going to close very short. I've only been 20, 25 minutes. So nobody said, go on, preacher. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to say, hey. <laughs> Okay. I'm waiting for somebody to say, hey, take your time, go on. Time no matter, I'm here all the time. That's right. You go. I know the very person who stands up say, I'm ready to stay all night, they always park where they can't get blocked in. I said, it never impresses me very much that they really mean that. Hey, I don't care if you block me here or not. It doesn't make a bit of I play a little bit about the last one out of here tonight. I'm going to shake hands with every one of them. If you don't like me, you can go out that door. I'll be back here. Amen. A full reward. Hey, I want to tell you about a full reward of Jesus Christ. And we, uh, Isaiah 53, we read this. His despised and rejected of men, 
a, a man of sorrow acquainted with grief, uh, and we hid as it were our faces from him. Uh, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Uh, yet we esteemed him stricken, uh, as smitten of God, uh, and afflicted. Uh, we're talking about the life of Jesus Christ. Uh, I want you to realize that uh, if any of us had to go through this, uh, it'd be a, a very hard life. Uh, amen. Uh, he was wounded for our transgression. Uh, he was bruised for our iniquity. Uh, the chest and our peace was upon him, uh, and with his stripes we're healed. Uh, all we like sheep and going astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, uh, and the Lord laid on him uh, the iniquity of all that goes on his side for the Lord. Uh, hey, uh, let me tell you uh, uh, what a life he lived. Uh, man, he went to the cross, uh, and then after that life, uh, he went to the cross of Calvary. Uh, oh, I'm here to tell you, uh, it didn't end at the cross. Uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, from the cross, hey, hey. he went to the grave. Uh, Oh, I'm here to tell you, it didn't end with the grave. He came out of the grave. And after the grave, hey, he ascended on the heaven. It didn't end with his ascension on the heaven. The all power, a great power given on Jesus Christ. All power is given me in heaven and earth. But it didn't end there. Oh, ten days later, on the day of Pentecost, the power of God fell. See, that's not going to happen. 
<laughs> Let me phrase that another way. Somebody gives you something really good. The most hurt you can give to them. I'm talking about things they've afforded to give you. The most hurt you can tell somebody is, I don't want that. Yeah. I want what God gives me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. I want what He gives Lord. Wherever they is, that's up to Him. Jokingly, I say, I don't care what size my mansion is. If it's too little, I just move in with you. You don't love me. You can't say when he's going home. Because he ain't going home. He is home. Amen. But a full reward. Amen. Come on, Marlene. All these. Hey, a full reward. I want you to understand. Weariness is a possibility. Hey, I want you to understand. God is going to give you a full reward. There are times we need to come and pray and say, Lord, I admit I'm just a little weary. I guarantee you that's the first step in getting back to the blessings of God. I guarantee you that's the first step. What we stand, what we say, what Steve comes.